A bizarre story now in Baker County. Deputies say an armed robbery arrest led investigators to a mother who detectives say organized a plan for her underage son and his friends to buy her drugs. 38-year-old Linda Matelski is now facing charges for child neglect and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Five other people, some of them teenagers, are facing charges for armed robbery. Channel 4's Corley Peel is live to show us how police say the case unfolded. Corley. Mary, this all started with the mother calling police, saying that her son was robbed at gunpoint. But after rounding up the suspects, it turns out deputies say the woman was organizing her own crime involving her son and his friends buying her drugs. Dylan Whitley says it's shocking knowing his neighbor, Linda Matelski, is behind bars for allegedly arranging a drug deal between her 14-year-old son and his friends. You know, I don't, I don't need that stuff around here, around my kid. Baker County deputies say the investigation began on Friday when Matelski called police saying three of her son's friends drove him to the duck pond at McClenny City Park, held him at gunpoint, robbing him of $120. Money, she says, she gave her son to buy clothes for school. And she was not involved in the armed robbery. She did not set that up, but she knew who was involved and why they took it. And since it was her money, she just thought that she could call police, come up with a story, and for the most part, just get the $120 back is really what she wanted. Matelski and her son told police 18-year-old Savannah Rodriguez, 20-year-old Tyler Barton, and another juvenile boy were responsible for the armed robbery. Once police tracked down the suspects, they learned they got the gun from two other men, one of those men telling deputies he normally hides a gun at McClenney Park. And once that person told detectives that he normally keeps his firearm in the garbage can, that really doesn't make any sense. So with good detective work, they were able to get him to um, confess to what he was really doing. Detectives say Matelski eventually confessed to asking her son to buy the drugs from another juvenile with her money. Whitley says he hopes this will be an eye-opener for Matelski and her child. I would hope so. I would hope that, you know, Seeing what kind of trouble that drugs can get you into is kind of, kind of bad for their future. Now, we did go to Matelski's house today, and the person that was at the home says they did not want to comment about her arrest. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.